was a minister, writer, abolitionist, and a religious and social reformer. He was extremely controversial and changed the theology of Unitarianism forever. His name was Theodore Parker. Once upon a time in Massachusetts, on August 24th, 1810, Theodore Parker was born, born into a big family. He was raised Unitarian. Unfortunately, his early life was not easy, and he lost most of his family, including his parents, and seven of nine of his siblings before he was 27. Through his sadness, Parker decided that souls were immortal or live on forever, and that God would not be the source of harm or sadness for people. This was a rejection of the Calvinist view of God, that our lives were predetermined, and that God engineered suffering for a reason. For Parker, God was a source of kindness and wanted the best for people. You're going to be shocked by this. But he decided, like all good Unitarians of the time, to attend Harvard Divinity School. He began writing, reading, and learning. He boasted that he could speak 20 tongues or 20 languages, but this is probably an exaggeration. He studied Latin, Greek, Hebrew, German, theology, church history, and biblical studies. He was a voracious reader and writer. After Harvard, he took a position as a minister at a local church called a parish. He loved this gig because he wasn't very busy and could spend more time reading and writing. He read thousands of books and started writing for anyone who would publish his works. Meanwhile, Parker started getting attention around Boston for his intelligent and heartfelt sermons. His theology or beliefs, however, made him an increasingly controversial figure in Unitarianism. Now, let's get a little bit of history. At the time, Unitarians' beliefs were supernatural realism, which means that people, without being taught, would create a belief in God, but that some religious truths, such that Christ plays a role in salvation, could only be discovered through the miraculous revelation given in the Bible. Theodore Parker, however, had other ideas, and they changed over time. Through his reading and study, he changed his mind from the old Unitarian supernatural realism of the day and decided that the Bible was not a miraculous revelation, but rather myths created by people to help us learn how to make good choices. For Parker, Jesus was a learned teacher, a divinely inspired person, but still just a person. He also taught that other people, modern day people, could also be divinely inspired. This was similar to what the transcendentalists of the time, like Ralph Waldo Emerson and Branson Alcott were teaching. This is an important piece of our Unitarian history. Now, this theology was revolutionary and it made a lot of people upset. They denied Parker's speaking engagements and tried to kick him out of the Boston Association of Congregational Ministers, but he refused to be kicked out. Instead, he went on sabbatical or a vacation for ministers. He went to Europe. There, he saw firsthand so many discrepancy of wealth and it upset him. When he came home, it was still difficult for him to find pulpits to preach in and parishes to serve. He lost his pulpit and with it, his membership in the Boston Association of Congregational Ministers. During this time, Parker became an outspoken abolitionist or person fighting slavery and actively fought against the fugitive slave law. He became the abolitionist minister at large to fugitive slaves in Boston. He believed that the Civil War was necessary and helped raise funds to support the fight. 
He hid former slaves in his home and was indicted by a grand jury for helping a person escape slavery into Canada. The case was thrown out of, on a technicality, but Parker wrote that he would have absolutely been willing to go to jail for this fight. He was willing to do what was right in the face of civil harm. Unfortunately, he became very sick with tuberculosis and died on May 10th, 1860. His writing lived on, thankfully, and a lot of what he taught is what we, as Unitarian Universalists today, believe. We believe that the universe is good and that sometimes bad things happen. We believe that we can learn a lot from religious scriptures as stories, but that they are written by people who are fallible and open to interpretation. Theodore Parker was a brave leader in our Unitarian history, and we are all so grateful for his contributions.